If I could just make a point about discerning who is guiding you, if you're interested in having a divine love guide, divine love guides will never place a heavy emph emphasis on symbols, on signs, on certain rituals or practices, on historical sites, on any of those things. Because they don't matter to them. None of those things matter to them. They may, like, uh, synchronicity. I can't say the word. They may arrange something to trigger a feeling within you or a thought within you, but they will never encourage you down the way of having a certain ritual or practice or placing a certain emphasis on a symbol or an energy or any, because really they're interested in your soul, its growth and connection with God. And you don't need any of those things for those, for that to occur. So you don't need symbols or rituals or sacred sites or anything because God created us all as a, potential sacred site to receive divine love wherever we are. So um, hmm. that's just an, an interesting way to analyse who's, who's guiding you.